Hello crafties, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I am here again with my handiest helper in my studio, my Centro Knitting Machine. So last week I did part one of my mini series and I showed you guys basically how to get started with the machine and crank out a hat maybe or some other similar project. Well today I kind of wanted to revisit casting off. Um, I realized I didn't really go into depth on that in the last video. So um, I've gotten to a stopping point on my current project. I'm making another beanie and I have cranked up 76 rows. I have a method of doing my hats with the brim already done by the time I get to this stage. So I'm just ready to cast off at this point. So I want to show you guys how to do that. So what we want to do is get in our comfortable position and we're just going to pop our thread I'm sorry, our yarn out of our little threader there. And we are going to make sure that this white needle catches the yarn. But let that be the only one that catches the yarn. And we're going to hold the yarn up in a vertical position, our working yarn. And we're just going to crank a full row. Just about. Now, don't get too happy. Um, once I get this to a little further away, I kind of just drop it, honestly. Um, making sure it's not knit it in if you're in a angle where you can hold the yarn up and crank at the same time then that's great figuring out my angles with this video is going to be really interesting over the next couple of weeks all right so my pro tip you're supposed to do a full row of um stitches with no yarn I stop cranking a few stitches before I get back to this white hook and you'll know where the white hook is because your yarn will be coming up out of it. So what I do now is I actually want to clip about 12 inches and if you can't really measure it and you can't eyeball it either, um, a good method for sewing anything is to make sure that whatever you're sewing with wraps around your project at least one and a half times, maybe two times, depending on what you're making. I usually go about one and a half. So, yep. And then I snip my yarn. Okay. And I know in the last video I mentioned that this long needle is my best friend for casting off. Now, I have used um, other darning needles to cast off with this machine and it works about the same but I have less problems with losing my stitches with this needle okay and this is the really long one that came with the machine now what I want to do maybe if I zoom in a little bit does that work um, if I zoom in a little bit I'm gonna look here now, the stitch that this yarn is coming out of is already cast off, so no biggies. Um, what I like to do, like I said, I stop a few needles before I get here because it helps me to not lose stitches. So in order to cast off, I'm going to probably reposition my camera for that. <laughs> Okay, that looks like a good picture. So in order to cast off, what we want to do is we're going to look at this next stitch. And what I do is I kind of whip stitch all the way around. So I'm going to insert my needle from the front of this stitch or from the back of the stitch and come out the front. And pull that loop off onto my yarn. And as you can see, it's off the machine. Now when you're doing this, you don't want to tug too hard because you can drop a lot of your stitches. And I have done that in the past. It is no fun going back and correcting those stitches. So you're simply going to want to move on, insert from back to front, back to front, back to front. Again, not tucking too hard, and if it helps you, put your finger over that very next stitch. So, like, if you're ready to pull your yarn through, 
just hold that bad boy down because you can lose him and he will not be fun to fix like I said it's kind of bad <laughs> it's kind of bad and you're just gonna pull your yarn through tuck snug but not too tight and you're just gonna continue on casting off your stitches now the further along you get um doing this the easier it is or the um safer it is rather to crank this around so it's easier to reach and you don't have to worry about losing stitches so i'm just going to do this all the way around until i get off all of my stitches
Alright guys, so you have been watching me weave these stitches off and my hat, my project is down in there. Now, if, you're, if you've used a yarn that's incompatible with this machine, you're going to have stitches that are probably still stuck in your needles. And in that case, it's frog time, unfortunately. I've had that to happen a few times. With the release of my first video, I also put a blog post up with a list of yarns that I have used with this machine and have had no issue with so I just wanted to put that out there in case you guys are wondering hey what should I use in this machine um, the yarn that I use today is called Red, Hi Red Heart Roll With It I think it's the Tweed and it is I have no idea what the colorway is I lost my paper long ago but yeah, so that resource is out there for you guys because I know it can kind of suck when you have to frog an entire project. As you know, you've probably spent the last 30 minutes to an hour or, you know, your whole day, depending on what else you were doing, cranking stuff out on this machine and you don't want to frog it or have yarn that catches and messes up your whole workflow there. So... I'll probably link that. Well, actually, no. My blog is linked down in my description below, so you can easily find it there. All right. And I am coming up to my last two stitches. Yay. This is such a fun color to work with, too. And I had no mishaps, so that was great. So just put my... Um, working yarn through that last stitch which was technically on that white needle but it was already cast off so there was no big deal there now this really long string that I have is my tail from when I did my brim that's gonna be a different tutorial for the channel I will show you how I do my double knit brims on my machine so they're already cast off by the time I get here all right, and now I am ready to sew this hat together, and I will post a picture of it um, both on Instagram and at the end of this video, so don't worry. I hope today's tutorial was helpful for you guys. If so, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment below letting me know what kinds of content you would like to see in the future. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on awesome weekly content like this. I post knitting tutorials every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. CST. Um, this Centro Knitting Series is just a temporary mini-series that I've been wanting to do forever, and I'm really excited to be doing this episode number two i will be adding it to the playlist as well which will also be linked at the end of this video don't forget to check out my other social media i'm on pretty much everything except for snapchat so i have a little something out there for everybody um reddit has been really really awesome these days when i post things i get all kinds of feedback and uh, engagement so that's really cool thank you guys so much for that and until next time happy making